Olena and Oleksis were forced to flee their homes in eastern Ukraine as a result of Russia's undeclared war. The Ministry of Social Policy reported that more than 1.3 million internally displaced registered with the ministry since 2014. My sister had a good idea that we could sell tents. We bought two machines. We had one employee and that is how we started. We had absolutely no experience in this field. We used to work in a bank far from sewing. That is why when we started and developed everything ourselves, we had all sorts of problems. Their first order was to make covers for rides at the Kharkiv amusement park. In two months, the entrepreneurs realized that they could do more. We started to look through a broader lens. Not only tents, not only these covers. We realized that we can sell bags for cash in transit companies, covers for military equipment. The company was approached by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry with the request to make military tents. Later, they received an order for a helicopter hangar. At the moment, we are making two tents for the defense ministry. These are large structures, 6 by 10. We've made a metal structure and are now making the walls and the roof cover. The guys are making it from PVC fabrics. Olena and Oleksii's company is the only one in the region. They have three workshops, each one specializing on different products. We've sewn tents for festival events and are now making bags for them. At this workshop, employees are making dresses which will be sent to France in two weeks. Olena and Alexei received their first order from Paris over six months ago. Now they're finishing their seventh batch. The French send us patterns, fabrics and threads, and we make everything. For now, the company employs 16 people. Ludmila is stitching sleeves. She works on 50 dresses each day. We have standards. The more, the better. The machine works fast, so we need to fix it quickly. In the ironing department, the products are spruced up. Varvara manages to iron more than 100 dresses a day. It's hard to constantly iron due to the steam and the heat. Next, Elena and Alexei are planning to expand their company and hire more people. And then, to open a new factory for making lingerie. Reported by Anastasia Volkova, Luhansk Region, UATV.